Explore. Ah, they took away the orbital contract. Return to Earth from orbit. Now they got extra requirements and they're not even paying us that much. Well, I guess we'll have to... But we'll need like enhanced survivability. Okay, well we're gonna unlock more parts now. Ooh, it took a while. Yeah, they've got some basic heat shields here. non aro things I don't care about. We've got the parachute. Merlin 1 needs to move. That's not my fault. It's because uh, RO decided to create that out of the old skipper model for some forsaken reason. As if we don't have a whole lot of Merlin 1s lying around all over the place. And life support. Well, life support is good for survivability, so that makes sense. Here under engineering, we'll have the things that are necessary to make a proper scout rocket, the decouplers and all that business. We also have some basic probes, the pioneer probes. So we have some probe cores here too. Oh, there's a thermometer too. Because uh, down, you know, canonically down here is where all the science is, so the science got lumped in there too. Okay, well, we certainly have enough science. Let's get that. So, okay, we'll hold off on general rocketry because that's a mess right now. I think we just need survivability and we have the science for that and mostly it looks clean as far as the parts that it has. It doesn't have anything unreasonable. We've got other probes here. I don't think they're unreasonable prices considering we've got Explorer 1 at 450. I think the nicest one to recover would be Pioneer 3 slash 4. Can we get cone-shaped tanks? Tyros is not bad either. Is that available under engineering? Nope, just polygon. That's a peculiar sort of thing. It's very peculiar. <laughs> well, they're, they're preventing us from going full rushing with cones and such, and smooth cones for our R7 boosters, huh? So, heat shield 150? Yeah, well, that's reasonable. The thing is, we sort of need something over here. I was hoping for a cone. We've got more aerodynamic parts. we got fairings! We didn't have fairings before. I mean, this will definitely be very solid on re-entry. <laughs> I, I wanted some attitude control. Maybe we'll add boxes. Oh. It doesn't surface mount? Wait. Oh, okay. Well, it surface mounts to that, just not the heat shield. Okay. Um, hopefully we can make really small tanks, at least. Well, 10 millimeter tanks are small. I mean, they're easy, right? It should be, in principle. We don't have RCS thrusters. Uh, hmm. I, yeah, RCS thrusters are under stability. We don't actually have enough science. Well, we'll have to work around that. Oh, we need a parachute on here. We should just use the Airby parachute. It was really good. <laughs> I mean, I don't see any problem with that. Well, this is less mass than that nose cone, so... The parachute should work. Whoa! The parachute's pretty big, actually, compared to... Was Pioneer 3 really this tiny? <laughs> That's amazing. Does Pioneer 3 have SAS? Yes. As a probe report, but it doesn't have a whole lot of other stuff, so we'll put some of the other science on. Thermometer. Uh, thermometer, 2.5 million to research a thermometer? I don't think so. And 900,000 for the thermometer. I know space thermometers are sophisticated and everything, okay? But still. 100,000 tops for the thermometer research. And we'll say... It'll be a... Uh, $50,000 thermometer, just not 900,000. I mean, I appreciate that we need to make our payloads more expensive, but still. And Geiger counter- see, this one's 
The guy who counted it made cheap. What the heck is with the thermometer? And the barometer. It's like you just forgot about it. Guy who counter is probably more complicated, isn't it? So, okay. We just don't have attitude control because... Do you suppose the despin mod... I don't think the despin module is going to have anything good for attitude control. It's going to have everything to do with roll and not anything else. So the previous stage is going to have to deal with that. Let me just get our previous rocket, the baby scout, and build on that. I'm leaving those tanks on for when we do get RCS. Except we actually need to be able to deorbit it. A baby sergeant would probably be too much. Let me see. The uh, thrust weight ratio is crazy. I need some something with a thrust weight. I mean, uh, something with like one kilonewton, and I don't have that. I think the the baby sergeant is our weakest thing. We need... Oh, top boosters, though. Lunar orbit insertion. But they could be used to deorbit us. Oh, it might be a particular sort of situation, though. Aha! Hmm... Sixty-eight meters per second. I mean, that doesn't guarantee it, though. So maybe not. I feel like that heat shield is actually too. B oh, we can rescale though. Um, that really makes it tight. <laughs> well, we could keep the heat shield big and use one of these. It's happening, yes, Q-tip fairing. And I guess we can use the property coupler for the stages now. Oh, that's... Hold on. Second and third stage, yes, okay, so that's right. Uh oh. We're too tall because of the stupid extra space on the fairing. Our delta V is also not reading right. Let's just see how much delta V. Let's see, first stage, decouple. I mean, with the thrust weight ratio, it might be okay, but only if we orient properly, and we haven't been doing that. Electric. No, not the full one, just a Q tip. Maybe we should go with the redstone engine. But we don't really have a way of... Maybe that Juno thing is, needs to happen. That's... Weird, but okay, hold on a sec. And the Juno tank. Oh, that's also too tall. Shoot. We don't seem to have payload fairings in here. We could go Thor, maybe. What's our shortest able tank? We have to care about how short it is now. But this doesn't really match this top, but there's another part there. We don't even have the- oh, because we have to- ah, uh, we have a problem. If we want to put the engine in here, it's an AJ-10. We actually have to do a deal with Aerojet Rocketdyne for that. We can build a tank all we want, but Aerojet Rocketdyne still has the AJ-10 stuff. Nobody wants the Vanguard engine. Well, mainly because GE is... Um, GE. It does, that didn't, didn't make enough space stuff. I guess we can try the Vanguard engine. How do I pick between these horrendous able fairings anyway? 2800 is too expensive. But the unlock cost is not bad. 
Now it's just a blunt instrument. This tank, I don't know how it's supposed to go on there. Anyway, what kind of Delta V do we have now? So, the Vanguard is producing quite a lot of thrust. <laughs> we, we could probably put a firmer stage on there, maybe. Maybe the Able Star is better. Vanguard's nozzle is way smaller than the AJ-10s. Well, that's just the default. I could use a custom barn kit to change those, but those are the default limits, like, from stock. But, you know, if sometimes it's interesting to have constraints that require cleverness. I mean, you have to build a bigger VAB in order to use a bigger rocket, after all. 5,000 and still a hefty thrust weight ratio, so that's not bad. The Thor knows. Uh, oh yeah, the Thor able first. That those adapters are here. Gosh darn it. Well, we could use a general decoupler. Let's see. Should be a tweak scale. Okay, maybe the Juno tank. I mean, it's not quite the right size though. But we don't have a. I guess we'll just stage it like that. What does that give us? Oh no, we're too tall again, no! Okay, hold on, let's see how much it'll cost to let us build taller rockets. We might... have to do something irritating. Or is it a launch pad? It's a launch pad thing. Well, we barely have enough money, but... I guess we'll see. Let's go back to the scout if we can. No, oh, well definitely not directly on it, please. Oh, well, the thrust weight ratio means that that's probably enough. Where is the bottom node on this? Why is the bottom node down there? That worries me. Well, this is cheaper. We'll have two tries with this before we run out of money. Well, let's see. This is probably pretty dubious. Maybe I should tilt it to begin with. Um, we'll need the root part. Okay. Let's try it. Well, we're pointing in the right direction. <laughs> and... And... Yeah, sure, go ahead. Oh, don't go that way. Don't go that way. Well, it's starting to rotate all on its own. Oh shoot, we could probably get rid of the fairings now. Might be a little bit early, but... I don't think we got enough horizontal out of the first stage though. That's a... well, I guess it's an interplanetary probe. It's got a pretty powerful antenna. Ooh, just barely. Eh, we're not quite getting to orbit like this. The little baby sergeant is supposed to bring us back down from orbit. If we sort of managed it right, we could, but... That's a bit complicated. Yeah. Hmm. 
Well, let's see what science we can do and transmit. There was a thing here, wasn't there? Probe report. So we got some science, maybe we can unlock uh, RCS ports. I think mainly it's just RCS ports that we need right now. We could get this into orbit, but it's not going to do anything useful. So maybe we'll just test re-entry with the heat shield right now. From this trajectory. Oh, maybe we should have oriented it first. <laughs> Whoops. Well, yeah, it'll end up retrograde by the time we get to... ...the atmosphere, I think. Or not. Or it could be sideways. Please end up in the right way. Yeah, it should. I guess we can get a high atmosphere. I don't know if... yeah. Let's just keep that. Keep that. Oh, we've lost communication. Probably plasma, I guess? I'm just um, seeing whether we've got all the parts that we need. If a person was trying to do this, would they have the parts that they need to fulfill the contracts? Uh, do the part costs make sense? That kind of thing. And we're only very early on in the tech tree. Or maybe we just aren't going to have communication. We are in the middle of Africa, so... Oh well. I armed the parachute, so hopefully it'll do its thing. We didn't lose any ablator at all. <laughs> uh, real heat is suspicious a lot of the time. I mean, we're pretty light though. We're only 34 kilograms. So there is that. It's mainly one big parachute. <laughs> Okay, recover vessel. We're still on day one, by the way, January 1st, which is 3 p.m. <laughs> uh, we don't have Kerbal construction time either. That's a whole other business. Okay, so we got a bunch of science. And so, I want RCS thrusters. So stability. Anything suspicious here? No, it's all pretty simple. The pricing might be weird, but... Mm, we don't have a whole lot of money. EVA report. See, now we can't... Uh, that's one thing we have to fix about the contracts. We can't have a whole lot of contracts expecting EVA reports early on. Test... Test the launch stability enhancer at a launch site? Seems okay? Oh. Oh, we can't take it. We've got a max of two. And we definitely can't unlock the building. Oh, I should have taken that earlier. Okay. We'll do the launch stability enhancer one first. So, in this case... Maybe we'll actually use the little sergeant to get into orbit. Help us get into orbit. And then we'll deorbit with the RCS. What's the smallest RCS we can put? Oh wow, the unlock cost is 620. That's pretty expensive. Well, I mean, I don't know. Wow, they're big though. We don't want... Uh, well, what can we get? Well, I guess we can get my... Uh, oh, only tech level 1 MMH in Mon 3, but we can get it. 
We didn't need any ablator, but for balance we might want that. Do those look shielded? I don't think so. Will that be enough to deorbit it? I don't I also don't know. But we're using all our money. I haven't even put the fairings on. This is this is gonna be the end of the stream, I guess. <laughs> this is it. We got launched this and that's it. I had to unlock a lot of parts that a uh, normal player wouldn't because I was testing things though. I guess we can save money by not having the thermometer and barometer right now. Okay, let's see. Well, let's initially also set this to 85 because it corrected before. We're just on fire. It's it's all right. <laughs> Perfectly normal. Uh, yeah. Hold on. Eek. Okay. Now. Okay. Go. We want to keep this end as low as possible so the RCS can deorbit it. I think we'll get rid of the fairings. Okay, separate that. And its RCS is working. Well, I guess we don't need a spin, we've got RCS up there. Let's make sure we activate the RCS when we stage. Okay, but that's not what I want you to do. Go! And that's orbit. <laughs> Just right. Whoa, that went off in a hurry. Well, this should be interesting. Before I forget, let me just arm the parachute. No, all right. Okay. So it could probably deorbit from here, but we'll wait until periapsis. I think. Hopefully, we'll have communication there. Oh, I forgot to test the Launch Stability Enhancer. Well, now we're committed. Let's hope that we return to Earth from orbit. We should be in communication with the station in Australia. Oh, well, we carried way more propellant than we need. Okay, here we go. Mm, should be a fairly convenient pickup location. Well, we do not have communication now. I feel like that's gotta be from Plasma. Oh, yeah, we well, well, now we got back. Maybe it wasn't from Plasma then. When are we gonna Plasma? <laughs> well, there's the west coast of Mexico there, so... And we have communication here. So that was a plasma blackout. Sort of nice the RCS ports didn't decide to explode or anything. Well, so still a lot of work to do with this RP2000 thing. No, oh, 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 five. Should always come out of physical time. Oh no, don't, don't, don't sink. Recover vessel. <laughs> Okay, got some science, got some funds back, and we got the contract fulfilled because I see we have 50,000 there. So, okay, I don't really need the launch stability and answer contract anymore. Oh god, it's explore the moon. Hmm. Hmm. Well, we do have the pioneer probe. I mean, it's supposed to go to the moon. But for now, I think... I'm gonna wrap it up for today.